What is up all my chosen ones, Jazz Roy's back now. Guys, I got another new play that I was reached out to to put in front of you guys now. This is going to be called Lubu Token. Now, before we begin, guys, please smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for me, please, and thank you. So, guys, just a little bit of backstory on this project, guys. Lubu is a project that has launched around a month ago, and they have recently gained an individual that uh, I've worked with in the past as the marketing director now for this project. And really quick, if we look at the chart, this was probably around the time when he got with this team and you see the difference in the chart that it's made you saw people have taken their profits but it's still on an upwards trend from where it first started at now it's a very very young project i mean it's not even 100k market cap so what does that mean that means we are going to put it in the d gen category as of right now we are going to go and look at what these guys have in store for lubu now lubu aims to be the most innovative and memorable token to date now they have a low tax fee and a low slippage and they want the community to prosper and grow from tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m lubu is meeting with bitrex for the purpose of being listed on their exchange over here is their white paper folks we are going to go take a dabble into this and see what they're about so scrolling through guys it says lubu's goal is to provide security security, transparency, high deposit and withdrawal limits, and improved odds. So in a nutshell, it's a single form solution based ecosystem, and it will provide features like holding, NFT ecosystem, liquidity pool, and reflections. They also plan on developing their own unique NFT collection coming soon and providing security, transparency, and high limit cash deposit and withdrawals and rewards. They are aiming to become a solution based ecosystem in one singular form. So they offer their liquidity pool and holding mechanism to allow people to earn some passive income, depending on how this project is, of course, when it grows, lowering the barrier for entry to a more advanced financial ecosystem with plans to decrease volatility and increase positive price pressure in the digital asset holdings, also creating a kind of game that they'll start to make an NFT gallery marketplace and land for their NFTs. Now, let's circle back over to the website. Really quick, guys, let's go over the tokenomics of this project. So they have a one trillion supply with buy and, with buy and sell taxes of 10%. Now, 4% goes into the development wallet to upgrade and continue building the project. 4% goes to the marketing wallet, while 2% goes to liquidity. Now, here are the NFTs that we just saw them discuss in the white paper, guys. So these looking like 3D style combat NFTs. Now, the rise of these NFTs, in their opinion, is part of a larger paradigm shift to shift away from centralized to decentralized systems. Now, the characteristics are unique and also including their own indivisibility. So it seems like small fragments waiting to come together as a whole circling back to the part on here where they want to create the game that will start the nft gallery marketplace and land for those nfts so smaller fragments to create a bigger picture in their system using these nfts i would like to see how this plays out so going here to their roadmap guys so phase one the smart contract development hitting 1k holders they have the website a community event a meme contest and giveaway they already started the influencer marketing with me for example and because remember guys this is a sponsored ad on lubu token and also telegram call group phase two two and a half thousand holders update all the logos on all the platforms also aim for the coin market cap and coin gecko listing nft collections start working on coming soon and also a big buyback and burn from five to ten percent and then in phase three we got a goal of 5k holders now they're aiming to get listed on different swaps and small exchanges and then they're also going to be going for partnerships and sponsorships that which hopefully more details get unveiled as time goes on and also to begin the game development guys so the game development with the nfts and the nft marketplace should be expected to commence in phase three and then in phase four is when they're going to start minting the nft collections and aim for audits and major exchanges and roadmap expansion so once again guys like any project that i talk about as a promo ad guys you know how it goes don't make any decisions yet just based off of my video make sure that you click the link in the description if you are interested in trying out some of these zgen plays look through the website yourself look at the chart yourself look at the contract yourself as well because what i do like here and they're frequently asked questions is that they do have their token sniffer rating on here 
at 80 out of 100. So that's why it's pretty solid because we've seen some quite a lot of projects. A lot of DGEN projects usually don't have the highest token slip ratings because it's DGEN projects. You know, you, you take a you take a chance. You take a chance and see what happens. You put money that you are willing to lose in case things don't work out because we're still in shaky conditions in the market overall as a whole. So once again, guys, do not view this video from a subjective standpoint. I want you to view it from an objective standpoint. If this is something that you feel you'd want to dabble into, like I said, everything is in the description for you to do your own research and do not buy just based off of my words and my voice, okay? Do your own research, guys. I'm going to continue pushing this with all the new projects that I talk about so that way we can make sure that we're investing and playing it safe. All right. So with that being said, folks, I'm Jazz Royce. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will catch each and every one of you guys at the top.